big advantage for St. Louis. They got that feel-good zone going yesterday. But St. Bonaventure, they're a bunch of old-school guys that have been here so many times. All five starters back from a year ago, and we can also say about these five starters, they all average double figures for the Bonnies. They all average over 30 minutes per game as well. We have not seen one wide open jump shot. Everything contested, and the best player in the court right now, Francis Okoro, he's got six. Three attempts, okay, so back-to-back -back trips down the court. The Bonnies connects first-team all A-10 player Jalen Attaway. Hasn't missed yet. Ball stripped away. Three to shoot. Attaway to Lofton. Back to Attaway. Finish. Batch just got his first two. And that rolls in. He now has four points. St. Louis is back up. Collins into the lane. Fade away. Got it. St. Louis heating up a little bit here inside of two minutes. Back on top by four. Good Billick and sign. That's the first bucket that we've seen from Yuri Collins. Sometimes the bucket will get you started. Now we got a little extra there. Francis O'Curl, Cal Lofton. O'Curl came in there aggressively. Let's take a look at what happened here. So the foul called against Lofton. He didn't like O'Curl coming in to help up Collins, and then it started. Absolutely should be nothing here. Good call, good position. And I'm not sure what made Lofton mad. Here we go with the explanation. Okay, we just got the explanation there. Double technical fouls against Lofton and also against O'Curl. The reason that's significant, St. Bonaventure only plays five guys the majority of the minutes. Lofton already had a foul. A technical foul counts as a foul. He's now got two. I would go right at him. If you get him on the bench with his third foul, the Billikens' job gets a lot easier. St. Louis, remember, they played their best basketball at the end of the first half yesterday as well. What a pass inside and what a block from Oshudiyi, but he's called for the foul. And that's his second foul. Look, they only play five. They have almost no depth on the front line. That's okay if you don't have injuries or fouls, but now the two key players that we focused on during the Open today, Lofton and Oshuni both with two fouls. Main threat for St. Louis so far. O'Curl is on the bench. Yuri Collins throws that ball away just as we went to zeros. St. Louis led by four at halftime. It's been cut in half here early in the second half. Jimerson, a pair of threes in the first. Can't get the handle. Turnover. Back to St. Bonaventure. Gibson Jimerson has to know that you cannot drive against this defense from 30 feet and expect to get all the way. Good that night. is a mental mistake. Collins has been taking the ball to the hoop. Jimerson has three of those, now four. Collins finds him, a little bit too late. Step back three. Oh, ho, ho. He is feeling it, that's his fifth. They trail by 10 at 47-37. Now with a chance to get it back to two. And Welch takes care of that. Make it a one-point lead. Dominic Welch makes it 52-51. Lofton guarded by Collins. Back up top to Holmes. Four seconds. The runner short. Nesbitt couldn't hang on. Final attempts. Won't go, but do we have a foul? Yes, we do. Worth noting. Travis Ford has no timeouts remaining. First of two shots here for Kyle Lofton. One to tie. St. Bonaventure tournament champions last year. They need this free throw to keep it going this season. Tomorrow, the top seed. Hard 
break for St. Bonaventure. 